How's it going folks? So I had a gentleman reach out to me, running into some Solix issues. He fixed it before, he's not really sure what happened. Uh, I did an update, did some resets, and now he can't get uh, his configuration correct. And so I kind of went over everything with me. He's on his bow, he's got two Solix uh, units, Mega360 connected to one. He's also got a Mega side imaging transducer that's mounted to his trolling motor. Um, additionally, he's got Mega Live connected to his trolling motor shaft. Um, two Solix on the console as well. However, he shut them completely down. And his problem is he's getting what's called the wagon wheel effect or crosstalk interference where you start seeing lines on your 360 or it looks like, uh, I don't know, just a wheel with spokes coming off of it, hence the name wagon wheel. And so he asked me if I would kind of go over it and I answered his questions by saying, hey, I'll make a video because maybe other people can benefit from this. So uh, I hope you'll enjoy this. And even if you're not having that type of issue, maybe there's some additional things that I'm going to share that you might find beneficial. Uh, and I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Additionally, if you're not following on Facebook, Hummingbird Tips and Tricks, or on YouTube, Hummingbird Tips and Tricks, please do so. All right, so move this closer so you guys can kind of see what I'm going to do here. And the questions that we're going to address is one, how do you fix the wagon wheel in this uh, configuration? And additional question that he had is, do I suggest getting a Y cable? And that would be a Y cable between the Mega 360 and the external mounted uh, Mega SI transducer. So first and foremost, you can see on the screen, I got 360 over here. Obviously it's simulated setup. And so what happens is if you're running, let's say side imaging, or whether you're running it or it's running in the background, 360 and um, mega side imaging share the same frequency, right? It's a mega frequency. And so when they're pinging at the same time, uh, they're gonna interfere with each other. So 360 is going to pick up that side image and transducer in his configuration. Now, like I said, he's got a transducer mounted at the bottom of his trolling motor and he's got 360 right there. And so to answer his question about the Y cable, if you did, if he does connect the Y cable, what that's going to do is uh, for his side imaging transducer, we got it right here pinging away, uh, the portions on the outside, the side the side imaging portion would get bypassed by that Y cable and it gets funneled over to the Mega 360. So essentially the Mega 360 is a side imaging spinning transducer. So the Y cable bypasses this. Does he have to do that? No, not necessarily. Would I recommend doing it? Yes. And here's the reason why. So right now, this Solix is processing 2D down imaging and side imaging. And as it collects that information, goes analog digital conversion, it puts it in here, it throws it on the network, and then the other Solix can pick it up. The other network components pick it up. In the meantime, uh, his other Solix he has is connected to Mega360. So now that's processing the 360 information, collecting it, it's throwing it on the network and sharing it. So now this unit has to both send and receive sonar information. Additionally, this unit has to send the 2D DI side imaging information and collect the 360 information to display it. So for my purposes, I would prefer uh, the Y cable. So that way one unit takes the duty of processing all the sonar and sending it, and this one listens. And then maybe this one could share a map. It's just to uh, reduce the traffic on the network. Not that it's necessarily that big of an issue, but it's my preferred method. Now, nonetheless, to get back to the question. So he doesn't want to get a Y cable. He's got this mega side imaging transducer, got the 360 transducer. So what I would suggest is with the Solix, let me make sure you guys can see this. Yeah. So in the Solix, since this is the unit that actually has it, and you could do it from either side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into sonar. I hit the power button once. Go to sonar sources. And now I'm going to go to side imaging. And it's selected right here, this 12 unit, and it has 450, 800 mega, it's selected to mega, and it's on, right? And then this is for the entire transducer, 2D DI SI. And so what I want to do is I want to just shut off side imaging. And you can see over there, 
it instantly went to pinging disabled, right? Because this unit is sourcing or collecting that side imaging. So I'm going to come back here and let's, let's just turn that back on and you'll see again, boom, pinging engaged, right? And so I just want to turn off that. Now, down imaging is still on, 2D is still on, right? All being processed from this unit. Um, so why did I go over that? Well, that will eliminate his issue with the wagon wheel, right? So now 360 is, t is not going to get interfered with side imaging. But since he also said he's got Mega Live, and what I found is most people, what they'll do is they'll go out here, they run 360 on one screen, uh, the other screen, typically they have uh, Mega Live. That's pretty common. Now, some people might have some other stuff. They might use 2D, maybe mapping. But that's a pretty common configuration right now for the people that are running 360 and Mega Live. Don't see a lot of people running down imaging anymore. And so for that reason, if I'm not using down imaging either because I'll just put Mega Live in forward mode, I'll come back here to Sonar, go back to sources, Sonar Sources, down imaging, and then again, that's where I'm just going to shut that off. So now... Really, the only thing this has given me is 2D. And I want that because if we're actually in the water, I'll be able to get my depth. So I want 2D being processed from this unit. Um, and then 360 from that one. And then Mega Live. I mean, it can pick up Mega Live because it's, you know, on the network. So it really doesn't matter. So anyways, just short little recap. Um, side imaging transducer mounted on the front or even on the back of the boat with Mega 360 running. The... Two are going to interfere, and so that interference is called crosstalk. To eliminate it, you could go to a wide cable where you bypass the side imaging on this transducer and get side imaging from Mega360. You can actually put it in side imaging mode. Um, actually, we could do that in a second, but anyways. Um, so that would eliminate it one way, or the alternative is, again, go here into sonar, sonar sources, and deselect them. If you click this button, you're going to shut off all of the sonar, even if you had them on or off. It wouldn't matter. All 2D, DI, SI, everything that's connected to that transducer, those three, would be gone. Well, I hope you find that beneficial. Um, if there's videos that you want me to create or if you have uh, questions about your configuration setup and want to give me some details, I can try to simulate it and maybe help answer your questions. Again, I appreciate the likes uh, and... Um, subscribes on YouTube. Uh, if you get any questions, by all means, let me know. Thank you.